Hi, Spilled Handyman up in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a Samsung. Now this particular Samsung would not pump the water out. Um, it seemed to work fine, but it would not pump the water out. And so, what we're going to do first of all is check the water pump. And we're going to make sure it's not clogged. And then we're going to check it for possibly, if it is clogged, then that's a pretty easy fix. If it isn't, we're going to check the voltage output from the machine. And we also may uh, jump the uh, power into the pump to see if it's still alive. Okay, so let's... Okay, I set the machine on its face. And incidentally, uh, when I uh, turned it on, I could not hear the pump running at all. So that indicates to me it's possibly a bad pump. It would not hum or anything. No noise at all. So that indicates a bad pump. What we'll have to do is check the voltage coming out of it or to it. And then uh, if there is voltage going to it, then it's a bad pump. We can also check the continuity between the two terminals, see if we have continuity. And if there's no power going to it, then there's a problem with the control module. And so that could be prohibitive depending upon how much you want to spend on repairing your washer. Oh, okay, I pulled the pump out. <clears throat> this is the pump. And we can look inside of it and we can see there's no clogs in it. No debris inside there. And if you stick your finger in here, you can feel the impeller. And you can feel the impeller is actually moving. It's uh, free flowing, it's not sloppy. And we have the magnetic force. We can feel the magnetic force of the, uh, the magnetic motor. And so, um, this part so far looks pretty good. And we can read from this um, information here. This is a 120 volt uh, pump. And so we should be able to jump these two terminals here. Let's see, this is the black one here. This is the yellow one. Came off inside there. And we're going to jump this pump directly to 110 and see if it comes on. Okay, so what I did is I jumped it with the 110 line directly to the pump. And don't try this at home unless you are experienced because working with electricity can be hazardous. And this is a very quiet pump. I could hardly hear it, but it is working. And so that means to me that somehow this brain is not telling the pump to pump. So there's probably a problem with this brain. And this is a... Uh, WA422PRHDWR slash AA. And what is it? 201205. And so, might have to Google this one. I can look inside here and see if there's a loose solder joint. But this one's going to be a tricky one, I think. Oh, okay, before I went and uh, did brain surgery on this one, I, I pulled the uh, drain. Uh, tube from the uh, bottom of the tub just to make sure that that thing is clear and it's definitely clear because I couldn't hear the pump and it's a really quiet pump I figured maybe there was something plugging it up but in this case there's no plugs and the pump simply does not come on uh, when it goes into the spin cycle for some reason. Yeah, and so another way to test the pump is basically put your meter on continuity or the ohm setting and you should have continuity between the, uh, between the two terminals, between these two terminals. If you don't have continuity then it's likely your pump has gone bad. Yeah, so these are the 110 wires are pretty thin for 110 wires, but um, that's the way they do them nowadays. <laughs> so for some reason we just don't have, and it looks like somebody's already looked at this wire here because it's loose, kind of hanging here. They were figuring maybe there was a break in the wire. Oh, okay, so we got the brains open here. And yeah, so what we can do 
is try and trace the wires. So from the pump we have <coughs> these wires here, which are the yellow and the black wires leading to the pump. Coming up here into this wire set here, and I believe these are the wires, the black and the yellow. And we can run a meter between these to make sure we have continuity. And otherwise we'll take this apart and see if we can see any loose solder joints around the yellow and the uh, black wires. And so this is going to be taking full voltage so there's probably going to be a relay in there uh, running that. So there could be a bad relay inside this control panel, inside the control module. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so now we have uh, a break in the continuity on the yellow wire. So I'm going to run a jumper wire from the yellow wire up here to this, and hopefully that will solve the problem. Okay, so here's what I did to fix this one. Basically, I got a yellow jumper wire, hooked it onto the yellow here, and ran it down and hooked it on here to the yellow wire on the pump. So now this wire, this yellow wire, should run that pump. Oh, there it is. Working now. If you have any questions, you can contact me 707 443 8347. I give phone advice $25, 9 to 5 Pacific Time.